Hello, <clears throat> hello, and welcome to Steins Gate Zero, Episode 7. For uncut reactions as well as early access, make sure to check my Patreon. If you want to discuss the show, besides here in the comments, make sure to check my Discord community. Links for both of those will be down below. With that being said, though, let's jump into this episode. Let's go. Where to even start with this episode? Let's go with after scene. So if you didn't see it, if you're keeping up with the episode with me, there was an after credit scene. Um, and go watch it before I talk about it, because it's a must-see. Even though I probably included it in even a cut reaction, so you saw it. Um, so yeah, Marcus is back, which probably means that we are in Alpha Line. Not necessarily, but if Amadeus is not there at all, yeah, I feel like even if they extracted Amadeus, the application for it should still be on his phone, right? It looks like Amadeus was just, like, removed from existence in the first place. So that means that we're probably back in Alpha Line. Or we're in some sort of third line, Gamma Line, where Makis is, again, alive. Or an AI has been implemented into her body. Because what I was saying, I was just checking if there was any messages on TV in this episode. Because an episode, or a few episodes back, I'm not sure, I just didn't, I know I didn't reference it. I only noticed when I was editing an episode, it was there for like a second. And then it got removed, so you can't even read it, even if you're paying attention to the show. You have to actually pause it, and then read what it's saying in the subtitles, um, to kind of catch it. Uh, it said that there was a field of monkeys, I think it was like orangutans and... One other species, I I don't know which ones, um, of monkeys, dead on a field with their brains missing. So it's probably something to do with neuroscience, what the Charles and the woman are doing. They're probably trying to implement AI into a human body. So they're testing it on monkeys first because monkeys are the most similar anima uh, animals to humans in, in regards of evolution, right? So first is animal testing, then it goes to human testing afterwards. So they're te they were testing on monkeys, so I assume they will test on humans relatively soon. Or maybe they did test on humans something in the future past that's why they were after Kagura. Swear to God if I'm saying her name wrong still I'm I'm going to I'm I think it's Kagura. I'm going to call her Kagura for now. So Kagura was almost abducted. I am shocked that Mr. Brown came, even though I said that Mr. Brown has to not be involved with this because Nay was there and his one goal was to protect Nay. But I was surprised that he was actually there to save the day. And he was such a badass doing so. And then Olka be facing him. I certainly thought that it was a possibility, but not a big possibility for sure. So it was. It definitely surprised me to see Okabe there with Mister Brown talking about, you know, what he is, who he is, and using that to protect their friend. Or I mean, I guess you can call her a friend because she knew all of them or almost all of them in the future. So kinda their friend. So that was pretty cool, for sure. And then I feel like we got misled. 
with Suzuka's mother. I feel like they want us to think that she could be the one uh, wearing that mask, right, attacking them, because she was conveniently, she conveniently went to work, quote unquote, and then the day after she had a bruise on her hand, or her hand was bandaged up, and I don't really, I didn't went through the attack sequence again, so I know if Suzuha. I feel like Suzuha actually hit that woman with with her leg, right? And the woman blocked right with right somewhere along here, right? So it could be that she actually got hurt. So it could be her that it was in the mess. However, I don't see how would Suzuha exist in this timeline, how would Daru end up with her, you know, getting birth to Suzuha, and I feel like she knew her mother in this line as well, because she definitely knows who she is, and I think it, she said in this line that she died from getting barraged by, by the, those, from the helicopters with the freaking machine guns or something that killed her right in front of Suzuha. So in, in that regard, it, it will either be the only scenario where she could be the mess girl is where she attacked them now, once, and then she will feel bad about it, and then she will get on the side of Okabe and she will work with him and with Daru, with everyone, to, to try to actually help them. And she'll turn against her leader or whatever whoever she's working for she'll turn against them so that's the only scenario but i feel like the more likely thing is that this is all misleading us to another direction while actually that woman from the lab was the one in that i mean look she could be working for the woman in the lab, and the woman in the lab, or, or Charles, or whoever, uh, they're in charge. But I feel like that woman from the lab could be the one. Because we kind of didn't see anything from Charles or her in this episode. Even Maho ca came back to the lab, trying to get back Amadeus. There was no Charles, there was no her, there was no one there. It was all empty. Which could mean that it was after hours, right? Uh, they were closed at that time, that it wasn't work hours. But still, I feel like that was kind of weird. And kind of deliberate. So we don't see them, so we can't really speculate in that direction. But either, you know, the mother was thrown in our face, so it was like... You know, it was subtle enough, but then obvious enough. To speculate on it. So I don't think it's her. Because I don't I, I don't see it making sense in the future. Only, like I said, if it was her and then she'll turn around and she'll work with Okabe and the guys. Because we have a lot of episodes in this season, so it's possible. However, I see it's more likely for the lab woman to be the culprit here. And she just got hurt by working, actually. You know, it was just a, a normal injury. Um, what else? Was that everything I wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of questions after this episode, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of questions after every episode that I'm watching here, but... You know, it's it's Steins Gate. I'm, I'm used to it by this point. <laughs> so there's no point in me talking about it or, you know, feeling puzzled or anything. So, it is what it is. My question for you guys is, what did you think of this episode? Who did you think was under the mask after watching this episode? Please, no spoilerinos from the future. Did you think it was A, the mother of Suzuha, the wife of Daru, or B, 
the freaking lab woman, the professor, female professor. Or C, someone else. Let me know down in the comments below. With that being said though, that would be it for me for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my reaction, like what I had to say, make sure to leave me a like. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are new, make sure to subscribe as well. Click that bell notifications for my future content. New episodes are coming every Monday and every Friday. As always, I wish you have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll be seeing you next time with more of Steins Gate Zero. Until then though, bye bye guys.